How's it going, y'all? I'm back. I'm bringing you a fantastic team today. We've got a Yak Tropical Fish team. Now, it's a three team, three squad. You can fill in whatever you want on the other two, though. It's completely free. All you gotta do, you get two, two Yaks, put a little Tropical Fish homie in the middle, and just let them scale. They're all passive scalers end a turn. Gives you so much freedom to just chill out. Look for any other scalers, any other synergies that you want to test out in the other two slots. It's a good time, and it actually is very competitive too. Check it out. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you try it too, if you enjoy this team. But for now, let's jump right in. All right, so he's some um, comedic kill. <laughs> Everybody's first instinct when you go to Scotland for the first time, I, you know, I've never been, but I would imagine that's how it is. You're like, hey, what the heck? Why y'all wearing some kilts? And then you realize how fashionable they are. And you gotta get one for yourself. So we do get, we get some magpies. We don't really have the opportunity to use the magpies. It's kind of just there for now, but it is a level of opportunity. So if nothing else, we'll get a good tier 3 cooking next turn. And we do come out with a dub here, which is actually huge. All I was really hoping for was not losing, but I'll take a win. Let's start out with the level up here. We get an early yak, which is generally pretty promising. I will throw a giraffe behind him too. Another yak. Um, What if... What if we do a little bit like this? Okay, hear me out here. Now this is perhaps the best early game you can go for. I think this is the peak turn three. You get a koala with two yaks. Okay, they, they can stay level one, but they're basically going to alternate who gets the eucalyptus each turn. And then it's just, I don't know, profit, you know? You get another dub. This is a great start. I'm loving this. Alright, so we're slowly getting these guys scaled up. So what we're really looking for now is more yaks to start. Um, but also level ups into a tropical fish would be ideal. Throw a little meat bone on the giraffe, make him not absolutely useless. And we'll just save a couple gold for next turn. Turn three is where we really prosper. We get all those tropical fish, we just start cooking up something crazy. This is actually going very well for us. <laughs> we are at five hearts, three wins now. Really couldn't ask for much better. We're gonna side stack a couple giraffes here. Um, so the issue with koala here is Having a level 2 doesn't actually help. Ooh, we get a tropical fish. Um, and having a level 2 doesn't actually help your your yak situation at all. So it's kind of like, do we really need to? Is there any reason to is a better question, and I don't think so. I think the answer is probably not. We will throw a meat bone on both of our scaling units here. But right now the yaks are taking half a hit point every turn, on average. Which, if you ask me, is a pretty good scaling ratio. You get two, two attack for half a health. And then you also have the tropical fish here. But here's what I'm thinking. If we can get one of the yaks to level two, we can throw a garlic in, drop the koala. But for now, I think we just business as usual. Just kind of hang out. See what comes to us here, you know? They really want to push this koala angle, and I'm not here for it. So we're just going to not do that. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's not, that's not going to be a... That's not going to be a dub for us here. That's okay. Um, we do get the level up. That is perfect. Um, what do we got? We do get the giraffe. A polar bear, huh? Very interesting. We do need to sell the koala before we can play the garlic. So we might as well run it like this. We'll take one extra damage on the level 2 yak. But we can at least get somebody 
to scale up. I think it's probably going to be the camel. So next turn, we're going to put garlic on our level 2 yak. But he only takes 1 damage per turn. And I think we're just going to try to hold this camel for as long as humanly possible. I think that's going to be my game plan. Just really incubate the heck out of him with this polar bear. So at this point, we're looking for tropical fish. There we go. Uh, we can't freeze the camel. We don't want to split the polar bear buffs. That's the one issue I do have with the polar bear is you can't get him like leveled up right out of the gates. So it's a little tricky and we do take an L here, unfortunately. We're kind of expecting to a little bit and we're not too worried about it either. Mm, no, we don't have any level threes. Ooh, ooh hello. Practical fish level three incoming, question mark, maybe. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I think we're just going to hold this camel in shop until we're at one heart. Until we, like, absolutely need to take him out. But we're basically playing two angles right now, right? We're going for our yak build, and then secondarily, we're getting this camel cooked up a little bit. And this actually worked out perfectly for the dragonfly. Could not have asked for anything better, honestly. So now we're just gonna look for more dragonflies. And now we could we could sell the, the polar bear here if we wanted more scaling on our homies onto the right. But they I think they got the scaling covered. I think they're gonna be okay. I still wanna get this camel cooked up. And they do have a rhino, but it doesn't seem to matter. Ooh, they survived by two. That is tough though. All right, <laughs> these camels are tempting. If you would have taken the camel by now, I don't blame you. No dragonfly, unfortunately. Um, but I mean, we just gotta we gotta go for it, right? We gotta hold true, get the camel going. The longer we can hold off, the better. It looks like we will have another turn. Another turn to scale up our camel. Is he 23, 24 now? That's huge. Ooh, we did get the dragonfly level. Okay, so it's one of those, we're hoping the dragonfly doesn't hit the polar bear, which it didn't this turn. But if it does, it's, it doesn't really matter. You know? There could be worse things that happen. All right, so now we're going to have to pivot now that we're at one heart. We got a 27, 28, so that's pretty good. So at this point, we're looking for pizzas and we're looking for dragonflies and camels. We do find the camel. That's huge. I mean, look at this. Level one camel right out of the gates is a 30, 31. I mean, you can't beat that. You can't beat that kind of early scaling. Hey, look at this guy. This guy's probably had his camel on his team since like turn five, you know? And my dude is already above him. That's the beauty of this strategy. I think we switch it up to here now because we want the camel to be buffing somebody and the yak just simply doesn't need buffs. The level two one. Sure, it would benefit from the health, but he's got so much attack already. And don't get me wrong, the level 1 guy is also catching up quick. Yeah, dude, we're just saucing up these guys like crazy right now. This is insane. Absolutely insane. Alright, what do we got? We don't need level 2 yak. I mean, I guess we're going for more camel, right? I don't know. Because it's like, how much is it really going to benefit us? You gotta ask. I think Melon on you is great, because you're gonna keep scaling up a bunch. Right, because like, getting the camel level 3, you might get an extra 2, maybe 4 health over the life of the camel. Is that really gonna do much? I don't know. Maybe. But probably not. 
And there it is. Can we clutch it out? Can we f finish out the whole run? Get the 10 wins. It looks pretty close because we're on one heart, but it's kind of calculated if you think about it. I guess we just throw a chili on somebody, call it a day. Right, because we're planning to go down to one heart before we pivot the camel. That was kind of intentional. <laughs> At least that's what I'll say. Looking great. Uh, maybe? Maybe? Okay, we're good. <laughs> I got a little worried there. But hey, we did it. It's a good team. I love I love the Yak Tropical Fish. It's so satisfying. Just kind of not having to worry about scaling because they're just doing it on their own, you know? Alright, so we're going Mosquito. I think we just run like this. It'll give us a better chance of not losing both games. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, maybe not. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we're losing this one. But we actually didn't, somehow. By some miracle, we're alive. Um, so here's the question. Are we going to purchase this termite? Because we could also just pass right now, knowing that we don't need to win. And then level up next turn. I think I like that better. Keep the three gold. Don't get too crazy here. We don't have to run the termite. And we actually, when well, we draw again, which doesn't matter at all, but <laughs> it's still pretty good, I guess. Optimistic, we'll say. Optimistic for the future. We get an orangutan. I mean, I mean, <laughs> don't mind if I do, you know what I'm saying? Here to the mosquito, we're gonna throw a stork in here. I just can't imagine the termites to play, you know? I, we're already pa kind of past the point. We'll get the orangutan on the stork. So here's my favorite strategy. If you just full send an orangutan with a yak, <laughs> it's surprisingly powerful. Don't knock it till you try, that's all I'm saying. We actually get our first dub on a, a weird turn. I didn't think we were going to get it here. And I'll tell you what. Um, I guess we can ditch you. I want a koala. And that's exactly what we're looking for. I'll tell you what, we don't need the magpie anymore. We're going to run some of this. Now the idea here... Is that... Ooh, that's actually very good for us. So the koala can only guard one guy at a time for the eucalyptus, but that's actually totally fine because he doesn't need to guard two because they only get... <laughs> what was that? That koala just nuked everybody. Um, like I was saying, he only needs to do one at a time because then they need, they're like offset from each other. If that makes sense. It makes sense to me, so hopefully it makes sense to you. <laughs> and this is perfect. Okay. The part of me wants to ditch the stork, but I think we run it like this instead. Do -do 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 -do. Now we could side stack in theory. But I don't think we need to. I think we just look for another tropical fish. So now they're just going to pass the eucalyptus back and forth. Which, in theory, I guess you probably want to keep swapping the position of the yaks. Right? Isn't that technically better? I don't know. Who knows? We're just doing... <laughs> it's been a minute. Oh, we actually will take the yak here. And then we can give him garlic. So he still only takes one. Um, We could tiger bug here. I think it would be pretty good. And we actually do need to, now that I think about it, because we don't want the yak to get rid of his, his garlic. So now is the time to pivot. We don't want to get two level twos because our primary scaling, aside from the inherent scaling, is a dragonfly. We're going to see if we can get a dragonfly going here. But we don't have to worry about attack anymore, which is always nice. 
And yeah, I mean, being able to one-shot any elephants or camels or anything is going to get you pretty far, <laughs> especially in this weekly. Now, we could go hamster, but I'm kind of feeling the sting right here. Get a little flashlight scaling here. Now I, we do need to get this tropical fish going, otherwise our health is going to stagnate, and that's just the worst possible thing that could happen. We can do everything in our power to not have that happen. And it looks like we will be good to go. We let five hearts. See, that's the other beauty of this comp. You don't have to worry in the slightest about trying to get these guys... Um, like trying to get some early game thing going because you can get it right away basically no need for the yak really no need for a camel either we're looking for a tropical fish for the most part and they're really trying to shove the yaks in our face though the reason i don't want to do turtle here is because we do have melon in the pack and there's no way to pill the turtle so it's like you're really committing to hard to the spot on your team. Right, we get a level 3 Stork, so it looks like we're keeping him. So I will leave him up front for the flashlight. And then promptly move him back. Because this happens. <laughs> uh, unfortunately it won't matter because our Yak is enormous. But it could. It could have in theory. Oh, we did get chocolate finally, so that's that'll have to do. Kind of like this, cook you on back here. I could sell you for the hammerhead. That'd be huge. Um, I don't even know if we want the hammerhead, right? Like, wouldn't we rather just get a dragonfly at this point? Yeah. I think we look for the level up on the tropical fish, and we hard commit for a dragonfly. That's gonna be the play. And we're doing it. <laughs> we're looking pretty good. I'm telling you, this comp is insane. We actually do get the level up here. I think we just take it, right? If we had a dragonfly, of course, we would rather do that, but hey. I, there was some saying I was going to do there, and I can't, <laughs> I can't for the life of me figure out what it is. So we're just not going to. Looks like my yak team is stronger than your yak team. Interesting. Alright, keep it going. Where are the dragonflies hiding? Come on. <laughs> Come on out. We'll give you a mushroom because that's just really good. I'm surprised you haven't found any dragonflies. I'm already on tier 6. Dragonflies are supposed to be a tier... I guess they're tier 5 now, aren't they? And we are good. I love that we got the Ibex and it got to trigger. <laughs> you can't make this up. Alright, anything would be nice. Even a single dragonfly. No. Oh, or two. Um. Yeah. There's an argument to be made going for a more like final punch, finish it off kind of pet. But I'm personally, I, I like more the guaranteed win kind of pet. You know, let's say we, for what whatever reason, aren't able to win here. We at least have, you know. <laughs> I don't think there was any punch pet that was going to get us that one. But we at least have the scaling built in, getting ready for later. We have a one, two, and a three. Two threes, actually. But at this point, all we're really looking for is pizza and dragonflies. We don't want any tacos because we pretty well got attack covered. I suppose if these guys are at 50, right, in theory you would think they'd have... Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. In theory, if you're at 50 attack, the tacos shouldn't be able to hit it. At least I would hope not. Looking good. Keep it coming. Lot of snipes cooking out here, huh? So <laughs> it's interesting. Every single team I think that we've seen in these like super high win categories has been, yeah, I don't think I can hit the yak, has been exclusively snake snipe teams. I think that tells you something. Just maybe. Even then, this is why I'm glad we went to the dragonfly. Okay, no snake snipe team. Looks like we're gonna win. <laughs> That's just how it is. I think snake snipes are the only team that beats this kind of setup. But even then, I don't think it beats it if we get an earlier dragonfly. Because we could also put garlic on some homies, but... I mean, hey. <laughs> Something about that team. Try it out if you catch this before the weekly's over. It's a lot of fun. I like that team a lot. It's super chill too. You know what you're going for, you just roll until you find it, and you find it most of the time. 